Hi everyone, it's Ruby and Rayleigh and welcome back to our channel. Today in this video we are going to be doing a twin telepathy trash to treasure DIY room decor challenge. This video might be a bit different because we've never done a video on our channel on recycled materials and we've never like made over them or DIY'd them. We have done makeover videos and thrift makeovers and of items that already exist but we haven't done it from like trash. <laughs> but our mum and dad's channel Let's Remake Make It does do this a lot and is focusing on this. So click over here to watch the channel. But while everyone is at home, we thought it would be a good time to do this because obviously you can't really go out and buy materials so we can use what we already have. We don't know what we're making or what with yet, but we do make loads of these things off camera with recycled materials and we do watch our mum and dad do it and it looks really fun so we're excited to do it. But before we get started, as we have in most of our videos recently, we just want to remind you, make sure you're staying home and following the government's guidance. It is for the best. Also, we just want to thank the NHS and all key workers for the hard work they do for us all. And we also want to remind you, it is Thursday today, so don't forget to clap for the NHS and all the key workers at 8pm. And we just want to say thank you so much for your lovely comments. It means a lot. We read them all the time. And it's nice to know that you're doing some creative things that we do and we inspire you to make some cool things at the time. On that note, let's finally get on with the video. Okay, so if you haven't seen one of these challenges before, how they work is we have eight different rounds. Of each round, our mum gives us three different items. And we also have a barrier up so we can't see the other person. And we have to try and pick the same thing as the other person. If we do, we get a point. If we don't, we get no points. And this challenge is themed on like upcycled materials. So some of the items we get are gonna be trash. So we're gonna put the barrier up now. Three, two, one. So now the barrier is up and we cannot see each other. And we're ready for round one. And it is kind of gonna be, I'm not actually sure. It might be like the material we're using for it. But we're actually, gonna close our eyes. Three, two, one. <gasps> Oh, okay, so we have this like massive water bottle which has had sparkling water in it, I know that. And we have a milk bottle and we have this apple juice bottle. So our mum and dad have worked with these two in the past and on their channel. And I think this one is the easiest to use, I think, because it's like kind of a splash between both of them. So I think, I don't know, I think this, I'm not gonna do that one because it looks so hard. And I don't think Rayleigh will pick it, so we're gonna eliminate that one. I think Ruby said, when she said like this one's a mix between the two, I think she meant this one. I really wanna use that one, but I feel like this one, I can't say, but I wanna use this one. Out of these two, I think the most obvious one to pick is this one, which is the one I kind of want, and I think Rayleigh wants two. So I'm going with this one, and I'm going with this one. On to round two. Three, two, one. Oh, notes. That, that means it's this, scary. I love it when we get notes because it's like an extra. Round. We've got room decoration, decorative light, mobile dream catcher. If for the decorative light, I know you can make like chandeliers and you can also make like bedside table lamps. And our parents made LED flower string lights with these. For the room decorations, you can make plaids, tea light holders as well. And for the mobile dream catcher, well, you can make a dream catcher. <laughs> I've done all of these things before, but I haven't done this one out of recycled materials. So my logic is if Ruby knows what I've done before, I'm sure now I'm going to pick this one. I think this one looks really cool, but I think Rayleigh's more likely to pick this one. And I think she made this one, so I'm going to pick this one. So I'm making this one. And I'm making this one. Round three. Three, two, one. Oh, okay. So we have two plant pots, a brown one and a black one, and we have a yogurt pot. Yeah. I kind of, well, they're all the same shape, kind of. Sounds good. So, obviously all of these materials could be used for each of the different things. I think for the one I'm doing, which is this one, the part of these materials that I'll be using is this. So I think I just need to pick like the best one. And obviously it is twin telepathy. Ruby, you need to speak so I can have like an idea. Everything you just said is basically what I'm thinking right now. I'm gonna pick this one. Hang on. 
So this bit is the bit that I'm going to be using for that. Well, I'm thinking she's using this one, but maybe we did get the first thing right because, you know, I'm going to pick this one. And I'm going to pick this one. On to round four. Three, two, one. Ooh, cards. Okay. So we've got Aztec, <gasps> love, love, <laughs> or natural. Okay, so these are styles, and I guess natural means like, not Designs. plain, but like, I guess like flowers, like kind of basic stuff. Yeah, maybe trees. Yeah. Aztec is very like patterned and triangly <laughs> and kind of clean looking, I think. And then love is obviously love hearts. And pink, red. Yeah, little patterns and pinks. I think automatically, I think Vee and I would go straight to this one. And I don't think any of us were gonna pick this one in the first place, so. Between these two, I think Vee and I, I can't say why, because it will give everything away, but I'm gonna go for this one for reasons I cannot say. <laughs> Here's my dilemma. These two are very similar. They're very like, near the same thing. I think the only difference is this one is more simple than this one. This one has more shapes and this one's more curly in my brain, if that makes sense. So I'm thinking we're both most likely to pick this one. So I'm gonna go for this one. I'm gonna hope Ruby's picked it. So I'm going for this one. So we've got two more rounds before we start making them and then we've got two more rounds finishing touches after that. So let's close our eyes. Three, two, one. String. Okay, we have glittery green string, which I think I bought a hobby craft with my mum <laughs> ages ago. We have blue string. This is wool, not string. Oh yeah, wool. And this is string. This is twine. Brown twine. <laughs> I don't know what this is. And this is string. No, it's not. This is white string. I thought string is what you sewed with. Okay, so then we have white string. So this obviously pulls the whole design together. It does it with all of them. So, ooh, I feel like we could go for all of them. I don't think Ruby, she might be feeling it today. I don't think Ruby's gonna pick this one unless she's feeling like spicing things up today and picking something a bit different. These colors together are so cute. And like these two would be so cute. We're picking two. But we're picking one. I'm okay. gonna automatically take this one. <laughs> This is not what I don't think any of us are gonna go through. So it's between these three, and I think Rayleigh wouldn't pick this one because she doesn't like the thing about it. Between these two, she'd be most likely to pick this colour. I'm not completely sure about this, but I think between these two colours, she would most likely pick this one. So I'm just going with my gut feeling. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go for this one. And I'm gonna go for this one. This is the last round before we start making them. Three, two, one. Oh, <gasps> these are oh, cute. These are pretty. Okay, we have thread. 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 We have white, green, and orangey, corally brown color. So these were embroidery thread, so I think instead of painting it, we're going to be decorating it with embroidery thread. Okay, I'm having a look at them, and I'm kind of comparing them to this. This one doesn't really go with it, so I'm gonna eliminate this one not thinking of Ruby more about like i just don't think it'll go and i don't and i want it to look good both ruby and i pick this color a lot and get it right a lot so i'm gonna pick this one i think this is the one you're on about and i also want to get this twin celebrity challenge very goodly 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 <laughs> so i'm guessing this and i'm getting this okay so our mum's given us some tools now we have something to punch holes and we have a cutting mat we obviously have all of our supplies we have some scissors and we have hole punches these hole punches are definitely so good for using recycled materials and punching them and making really cool designs so is this as well because you can make your own designs with it okay so we're both going to start our designs now and i have to start with the framework of mine which means i'm going to cut this piece out as that shape i'm going to be cutting this bit Okay, so we've both finished.
finished whatever we were doing now. I was doing the framework. So was I. So the next thing I've got to do is finish my framework and I'm using this for that and basically what I'm doing is I'm taking a piece and it's going to hang like that and then this is going to wrap around here. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to take this, I'm just going to show you what I'm going to make a hole and then wrap it around normally. I think we might be doing the same thing. This part is definitely gonna take me a while, as you'll see. Yeah, definitely. It's looking good though. Yeah, same. It's gonna I'm gonna be really worth proud. it. <laughs> Okay, so we've both just finished and I'm so happy of how mine looks. And I think we might have gotten the same thing because I can same. hear by the noises, but I'm not sure about the materials. This is how mine's looking so far. And this is how mine's looking. Okay, we're gonna go on to the next bit of the decorations now. For me, this is my main bit and I'm gonna use this. So I'm gonna be using this. This part was actually really easy and the material I was using was actually so easy to cut through. But it's actually getting late now, so we're gonna pick up where we left off tomorrow and we're gonna go and eat food. <laughs> so I'll see you guys tomorrow. <sighs> okay, so we have our materials that we prepared yesterday and I don't actually know what Ruby's got, but we know we've both done it. And we also have some tools. We have the stamps, some scissors and this pointy thing. I actually know what the design I'm doing now for yesterday, what I'm gonna do, and I need a pencil to draw it out first. I know what design I'm going to do, but I'm also going to do it with a pencil and Ruby just gave me that idea. because mine's going really good. Mine's going good, although I'm not quite like that far along yet. I'm still doing the drawing part. Really? Yeah, why, where are you? I'm cutting it out. <laughs> oh. Can I just say, this material is really good to use. It cuts out so easy and it's really soft. You can punch it and make designs really easily. I'm trying to work out if we've got the same thing. <laughs> you can do really intricate details with it as well. I'm still on the drawing. but our mum said we have two more rounds before we do the final details and so far mine is looking so good I'm so proud of myself I'm really proud of how mine's looking now and I'm excited to do the final bits because I feel like they'll put it all together round seven seven <laughs> three two one oh all different types of beads so we have these kind mm -hmm. of like small fish bobbies that are pink like greeny yellow and oh my goodness and blue. they remind me of slime fish bobbies yeah. I don't know what these are, but they're, they're kind of like what you'd see on like, what is it like old fashioned baby toys? We have some wooden beads. We have some small plastic beads and some big plastic beads. I'm thinking she won't pick this one. I can't really say why, but I don't think she'll pick this one. So it's between these two. And I really don't know which one she's more likely to pick out of the two. So I'm just gonna go for the one that I'd like to pick. And I think it would look best with mine. Which is this one. So this is the one I'm picking. I think between these two, you're gonna pick this one, most likely because of what my gut feeling is. So I'm picking this one. And I'm picking this one. 
So now we're gonna close our eyes for the final round. Three, two, one. Ooh. Okay, we have Posca pens. We have a black, we have a silver one, a white one, and a gold one. My design is basically finished. Yeah. I know what I'm gonna do with these, but I actually don't know what I'm gonna do with these, but I'm just gonna go with my gut feeling and what I've got an idea. I'm just gonna try and eliminate. I think the ones you'd go for is something like it's gonna give a bit more like, I guess like boom, you know? So I'm gonna go for this one. I know this is meant to be twin celebrity, I'm meant to think of the other person, but I really wanna pick something that's gonna make mine look good, so I'm going for this one. So I'm going for this one, and I'm going for this one. So we've got all the finishing touches now, and we're gonna put it all together for the final reveal, and I have a really good idea, which I'm excited to do. Okay, so let's start doing the finishing touches. doing i'm doing really good i'm very <laughs> excited about how mine's looking so far and it might be one of my favorite diys we've done on this channel so same to be honest i just had the best idea and i made my own and it looks so good i'm so proud of myself it's probably my favorite diy i've ever made Okay, so we're both finally finished, and I can't believe how amazing, at least mine's turned out, I haven't seen Ruby's, but they Same. took a while, so I'm expecting good things from you. <laughs> Hopefully. And we can't believe that these are all made from waste materials except from the beads. So we're gonna take this border down and then we'll show all of you at once. We're gonna leave rock, paper, scissors to you open this first. Yes! Okay, so guys. Three, two, one. <gasps> Whoa, I did not expect that whatsoever, but it's so good. I'm so proud of I it. I can tell you got Aztec, didn't you? Yes, I did. And you did a dream catcher. Oh my gosh, you got, that is so cool. You got these beads and you actually made them look like cool. I'm assuming you didn't get them then from that. Comment. So this is mine, I'm really proud of it, but I will show you properly in a minute once you've seen Ruby's. Three, two, one. <gasps> oh my goodness. Walking in a winter Whoa. wonderland. <gasps> oh my goodness. I made the it feathers. It gets better the longer you look at it. We got like quite a lot the same, if we're being honest, except from the actual style of it. Did you use the um, yogurt? I used yogurt and okay. I, what, what um, pen did you get? Gold. Gold. <gasps> I got natural so I did like flowers and like kind of flowy stuff like feathers. It's so cute. I'm really proud of both of ours. Yeah. I literally love them both. I mean, mine's, I mine's obviously got Aztec. Mine's like Winter Wonderland, yours is like Autumny. Mm, oh yeah. enjoyed it make sure you head over to the community page and comment who's you prefer rubies or Rayleigh's. we really hope we've inspired you to use recycled materials to make some diys we have two shout outs for this week's video the first shout out goes to sophie hey one two three thank you so much for subscribing to us hashtagging us to squad and being really positive and commenting on our community page really often Second shout out goes to Rosa Tansley. Thank you so much for hashtagging our sister squad on the community page, for commenting on a lot of our videos, and for being really nice and positive in the comments. We can't end this video without thanking our notification squad and early squad. We love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching. We love you. Make sure to stay safe and stay home. And don't forget to clap for the NHS at 8 pm tonight. We love you. Bye. Bye.
If we do, we get a point. If we don't, we get now. That did not sound. Okay, so I've. Sorry. Let me just show you the. Okay, so that's the end of our video. We really hope you enjoyed. Make sure you head over to the Mooney page and comment. Okay, so that's the end of our video. We really hope you enjoyed. Make sure you head over to the Mooney page. <laughs> God, I can't say it. So that's the end of our video. We really hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you head over to the. <laughs> <laughs>